Hi friends, and today we're going to go over my bullet journal for 2023. So this is my yearly collections journal, so this will not be what I'm using every day. This is where I'll be keeping things that I want to have for a full calendar year. My daily journal will probably only last six months. And since there are things that I want to track for a full year, I'm keeping them in a separate journal and I will continue to use this for the next few years until it is full. So let's get started. Um, first, I just have my nameplate page with my name. Uh, I use some stencils to do the artwork in here and it's washi tape just for pretty things. I then did a yearly collections title page. Um, again, this is a stencil. Um, these letters are also a stencil. I will link the stencils that I purchased down below if you're interested. The next page is a giant list of birthdays because uh, you always need those. And then we get to my 2023 start of the year. Um, I have a title page, 2023. Um, because my word of the year is progress, I found a quote that I thought went really well with that which is be not afraid of growing slowly, be afraid only of standing still, which I believe is a Chinese proverb. As stated, my word of the year is progress, which is a movement toward a goal or a further higher stage or growth or development continuous improvement or the development of an individual in a more beneficial and superior direction. Um, I and my why, want to spend 2023 building better and healthier routines to help me reach my goals. So last year was about learning not to stress about things that I didn't have control over, which I think I did a pretty good job of considering the year that I had, um, but also not stressing so much about Instagram and YouTube and making sure I was reading plenty of books and making sure I was posting as much as I felt like I should be posting. Um, and I think I got a really good grasp on that. So this year I want to work on building up routines, building up things that help me do those things in a better manner. So, so I have a list of uh, things that I want to work on, areas to build routines in, such as health and wellness, which is like making sure I'm taking my medications properly, doing better eating habits, things like that. Writing, reading, physical activity, social media. And I know there's a sixth thing, but I cannot think of what it is. So I wrote a space in there for it. When I remember what it is, I can put it in there. Uh, these next few pages are ideas that I got from Jess at Jashi Kern. I will link her down below. That is where I got these layouts from her 23, 23s and 2023. So I have a list of things that I want to do 23 times in 2023, such as movies watched, TV shows watched. So like if I watch a season of a show, that's considered one. Music artists that I would like to listen to, meat free meals, new recipes, again, trying to learn better eating habits, learning how to make my own foods that are high in sodium so that I can lower the sodium in them, things like that. Some book related things, new release books, so 2023 releases, physical TBR books, so books that are on my physical TBR currently. I want to try to do some reading vlogs. 23 is a lot. Uh, I probably won't do 23 reading vlogs, but, you know, if I'm aiming towards 23, maybe I'll get five. YouTube video genres. I want to try new things this year. I want to not necessarily, like, branch out in a giant way, but I do want to try some new things. So, again, probably won't be 23 new genres of video completely, um, but I want to try some different style things, some different um, editing techniques or... Um, video techniques, things like that. So that's kind of what that's for. Co-host live stream. So I want to be a co-host on somebody's live stream 23 times because I need to be better at that. Hair masks, face masks, one liter of water days, no spend days, work free days, $100 saved, live streams, BFF dates, dates with my bestest friend, manicures, 20 minute workouts, 5k writing days, Instagram stories, on time. I need to do 23 Instagram stories on time. That's a rough one. And cleanup days. We'll talk about a little bit later. And then these next few pages are where I can list out what the movies were or the TV shows or what have you. Uh, some of these are um, enough so that I can write in like what the actual thing is. And then once you get back here, it's more of just like writing in the date. Like I don't need to know what face mask I use, but writing the date in there of when I used it will help me keep on track so that when I fill in this pixel part, it'll be more accurate. We can hope. 
Um, so that goes to here. And then a then and again page. So on the last day of the year this year and the last day or the first day of 2023 and then the last day of 2023, I would write in a goal, my savings, my food obsession, a movie I enjoyed, a song obsession, a TV show I enjoyed, a recently read book, a recently tried thing, recently accomplished, biggest life problem, want to try, nervous about, looking forward to, learned, and I left a couple of things in there in case I think of something else that I would like to add as well. Monthly, weekly tasks. Um, so this is something that I am trying to do in with building habits. I'm trying to be more, um, I have depression. And so sometimes I fall in a depression cave and I don't clean anything for months on end. So I'm thinking that if I have a system set up where I list out things that I would like to do monthly, like change my bed sheets monthly would be an improvement over what we have currently. I know that's gross, but depression is weird. But yes, a monthly thing and then some weekly things that I can track and then just mark them off as I do them. I originally had intended a completely different title, but I had like colored in monthly before I was like, why are you like, I don't know what I did. I lost my mind. Uh, but so monthly, weekly and their tasks. You know that I know that it's not listed, but we know it. Uh, these two are blank for the moment, but I we're now in like the reading section. Um, book club books, anything that is a book club that I do all year long, like um, the Wheatberry Book Club, which is my local bookstore, the Patreon book clubs that I'm part of, things like that will go here. And then reading challenges like Kayla Books and Lala's Buzzword Reading Challenge. Whew, that was a rough one. Um, like those can go in here. We then have my reading log. So the list of everything that I've read for the year, title, author, and the rating. I have four pages of that, enough for 141. This year, I think I'm at like 90-ish books. Last year, I read 130-ish books. Um, so I feel like 141 is enough P spaces. If not, I can always do a tip and page add on the side and it'll be fine. But I think 141 is plenty. I then have a list for my 2023 anticipated releases, title, author, and the release date. And I have two pages of that, which is, if it is similar to this one, about 67. And I definitely don't have that many. I probably don't even have enough for one page. But as the year goes on, more things will be announced. So I'll be able to add them in. I then have books that I've pre-ordered, title, author, and release date so that I can keep track of them and don't buy the same book three times. Uh, I actually did a really good job of this this year. I'm proud of myself. I kept track. It was great. Uh, TBR Takedown. If you don't know, the TBR Takedown is a game that I play on my channel where I try to get my physical unread shelf down from what was 240 books in 2019. I'm currently at about 80. Um, so I do it like what I started the month with, how many books I hauled that count, how many books I read that count is coming off, how many books I DNF'd or unhauled that count is coming off, and then what my number is at the end of the month, all the way down. That's where I keep track of that at. Ta-da! I then have These Books Will Self-Destruct in 12 Months, which is a video you would have seen mm, Thursday, I think, a couple days ago. Uh, title and author, and then a place to mark it off if I do indeed read it. Um, physical TBR series, unread. Uh, so I made a list of series that I have on my shelves and then how many books there are in the series. Some of them I've already read some of the books, so I've went ahead and marked those out. Um, but books, series, things that I need to finish. I probably shouldn't have put Crooked Kingdom on there because I'm currently reading that book. So it'll probably be done before the end of the year. But, you know, it's fine. At least when I mark it off, I'll feel complete. Arc Tracker. Simple as it sounds. Any arcs that I get, title, author, release date so that I can keep track of those. And I'm not falling behind on those. DNFs and unhauls. Title, author, DNF, unhaul. I think I only gave myself two pages of this because I really, this year I DNF'd 50 books and I have an unhaul video coming in the new year where there shall be a lot of unhauls of books that I've read mostly. I think this is good because I don't have a whole lot of books left on my shelf that are from the 2017, 2018 extra purchasing that I did. So this should be fine. I then have the AuthorTube chat books and topics. If you don't know, the AuthorTube chat is a series that I run on my channel and uh, with my friend Kate on her channel, which is Kate Kavanaugh Writes. And we hop channels every other month or every two months. But, you know, we do weird things. Anyway, we channel hop between each other's channels. 
Um, this year we're going to do something different. I think we need to do an announcement video for that, but it will include a book club, but also movies, but also a group book that we're going to read the whole year long. It's a thing. Um, so this is where I'm going to keep track of like our chat topics, the books, the movies, all of that here. We then have a book bracket showdown for next year. Um, I did something a little different. Um, most people do like their favorite book of the month and then kind of go down into until there's like one book left. However, if you do that, there's a certain point, I believe it's here. Yeah, because I added two extra. So I added two extra. So essentially, you're going to have like these two books go here, these two books go here, these two books go here, but then you've got three. So either these three have to go up against each other and you pick one out of those three, or these two and then you pick one and then do these two and pick one. So this one's got two chances. There's a whole thing. So I added in uh, my favorite book from each month. And then also my top four favorite books that did not make it as the favorite of the month. Essentially because like if I was doing this this year in February, I think my highest rated book was like a 2.75. So obviously that book would be kicked out. But then maybe like in October when I was reading all of my spooky books, there were two books that were both a five star. So that would give an opportunity for a second five star to get in here to be a favorite of the year if you feel me. So that's why I did that. So, um, and I went ahead and did a random gener random generator for each month and then one through four. Um, so that will be where I'm putting them in to kind of like super randomize the, the challenge a little bit. We then have into the writing section, which is legitimately this one page. This is the final page um, that I have set up so far. I don't think I'm gonna add anything else, but who knows. Uh, but this is my word count tracker. I am crazy and I am going to try to write 250,000 words next year. That's a lot of words. Um, so I have 250 boxes on this, these two pages. Um, each box is 1,000 words. So whenever I get 1,000 words, I will just mark it off. Now, I will have um, a dedicated writing journal at some point. I don't know when I'm going to start that, but I will have one of those. And also um, for like nano months, I will have a tracker in my daily planner that I will be marking off how many words I'm at. But because it's, you know, my goal is 250 for the whole year. I wanted one place where I have the whole year's worth visually in front of me. So as we do a final flip through, that is it for me today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can hit me up in the comment section down below. Again, there will be some people linked in the description box as well for inspiration for a lot of these trackers. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a few times a week. If you don't want to miss anything we have going on in the future, including the advent that is currently happening we're on day 17 we got until the 24th to go so there's still a little bit more time uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't f miss any of the fun and until then i will see you guys next time bye